So as the 2024-25 Premier League season is only days away, I think it's only fair that I show you my fantasy Premier League team, discuss some of the players I've put in there, and also make sure to remind you to click the link in the description below to join my FPL league and see if you can beat me and be the best at Fantasy Premier League. Speaks if I'm actually the best, I'm, I'm not. But let, let's go and check out my team. Okay, so welcome over to the squad, the team that I have put together. So first off, my goalkeepers. I've gone with Flecken from Brentford and Verbruggen from Brighton. Now, Verbruggen, I think, will be the number one. He was number one of uh, Netherlands in the Euros. And there was talk that he was kind of getting eased in for Brighton last year, so they didn't put him in every single week, and that's why Steele played some games, but I think this year he will be their number one. Now, he is expected to miss the opening week, so Flecken will be my goalkeeper. So in terms of my defence, I've gone with Timber, who was missing for last year, but I do think will be a very, very good player for Arsenal this year, and will get quite a lot of assists. And Mitchell from Crystal Palace, again, I think will pick up assists this year. Livramento from Newcastle. Now, I can see Kieran Trippier moving on. There is a lot of talk about him leaving, and if he does, Livramento will be starting week in, week out, in my opinion. A Pedro Porro I had last year in my team. Let me tell you, he got me some points. And then Sessegnon, who has left Tottenham and gone to Fulham now, I do think might play some game time, so if he does start featuring a bit, we can move him into the squad. Midfield-wise, Martin Erdegaard, I think I made the mistake of taking him out last year and he ended up getting quite a lot of assists and it was a mistake by me not to have him in. Um, McGinn, I think, takes a lot of free kicks for Aston Villa, takes corners, then can get some assists. Hutchinson from Ipswich was very, very good for their team in the Championship, got double figures, signed from Chelsea now, I think he could do something. Gordon got a lot of assists for us last year, a lot of goals, uh, 183 points, so I think he will do well for us. And then Ward-Prowse, again, also I think could be a very, very good player to have in, especially if West Ham look as good as I hope and expect they will be. Uh, up top, I've gone with the big guns. I've gone with Watkins, who I think will continue to score. I think he, he looks very, very good. He had a decent summer. I think it's only going to motivate him. I think he's going to be a very, very good player this year. A lot of goals again. Haaland, I think with Alvarez gone, I think he's going to play even more. And I just think he's going to score. <sighs> he's guaranteed, isn't he? He's guaranteed to get you at least 20 goals. So I think he has to be in. And then you've got Isaac as well, who again, he's just a goal machine. He's guaranteeing double figures, etc. And I think when you look, Haaland got 217 points last year. And didn't have his best season with Watkins picking up 228. The only other option I've got is Havertz coming in, which would save me 7 million, so we could then put in someone like Palmer or Foden as well. Would that get me more points by taking Haaland out? Potentially. Potentially. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And my concern there is if Haaland has a season like he did the year before, he could easily get 35, 40 goals this season, and then you look stupid when you've took him out. So I think Haaland has to be my big money. And if anything, I've got to just try to find them gems in and around which justify spending 15 million on Haaland. So my team for the opening day, I think I'm going to go with Flecken in goal, Pedro Porres. Pedro Porres, Pedro Porro, Timber and Mitchell, um, McGinn, Erdegaard, Gordon, Ward-Prowse, Isaac, Watkins, Haaland, with Livermento as my first option, Hutchinson, Sessegnon. Now, I'm unsure if Timber will play. If Timber doesn't play, then Livermento comes in. The rest, I think, are going to play. I do think Ward-Prowse Ward is a bit of a tough one. He should be playing. Doesn't mean he's guaranteed to, so he could be someone in the first couple of years we end up moving around. Could be. But for now, I think we've got the right option. Now, the last thing to mention then is my league, the Northman's FPS, 
S F P L E. The link is in the description below. Join up. Join up with the groups that we've already got in here. And hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. Hopefully you're gonna have a good year on FPL. Make sure you do go into my videos week in, week out on the channel, my football manager videos, etc. And just comment below. Let me know how you are doing in your FPL season. And we can always chat no matter what the video is. Comment in it how your FPL season is going. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good Premier League season. We're only a couple of days away. I've been Paul, also known as the Northman.